Hi, welcome to the installation video of Arch Linux D ISO. The Arch Linux D ISO is a minimal installation. You end up in a black screen and then you decide what desktop you'd like. You download scripts, edit scripts, run scripts, and you have your system up and running. Now we have here a language to choose from. You choose your own language and then you go for next. The computer or Calamaris, this one, this installer is called Calamaris, knows where you are if you're connected to the net. So if um, that's not the case, then you just change manually over here. And the system language can be changed as well here. And the locale settings like the date and the numbers can be changed here as well. I'm going to leave everything as is and decide that I will be working with a Belgian keyboard and everything changes once you touch anything here. So Belgian and then next and then we have and the erase button so erase everything it's a blank virtual box and I suggest you don't mix things you don't dual boot triple boot etc but you just say one system on one SSD on one hard disk in a virtual box it's simple right so you say that's my name what name you want to log in and what's the name of the PC you can name anything as long you don't use spaces so letters numbers dashes are allowed but not a space so that's that put in your password if you want to log in automatically without asking for the password is something I would always do but since this is an Arch Linux D installer there is no desktop behind it there is nothing there so nothing will be changed use the same password for the administrator account okay next install and we're off so the Arch Linux D I can only recommend that let me open the website yeah that's it that you go and check out the Arch Linux D website so we have phases in Arch Linux projects we have different possibilities from now on to install XFC on Arch Linux D or OpenBox or i3 or we can go and venture with awesome PSP WM Budgie and every of these installations or articles always the same you see a gallery the installation and result all the cinnamon articles that there are available sometimes it has the sentence any desktop this means that it applies well to any desktop so articles written for any of these desktop environments will carry the name any desktop okay so in the meantime we're waiting for the installation it's up to you to decide what desktop you would like to work in download scripts from github and then run everything let's restart it's a quick and easy installation it's a, an ISO less than one gigabyte now you should choose the second line since the DVD is still in the live DVD is still in the virtual box and then you see the normal rub or startup screen and first things first who are you what's your password and immediately you see on what kind of system you are what version you have etc two things you should do before uh, installing any desktop that's mirror the system is going to look around and say oh look I'm uh, in Belgium so I'm going to get the fastest servers if it's in Canada it'll get the fastest servers in Canada etc okay and then we're going to update which is a very strange thing because it's probably in no other distribution but it's simple it's just an alias alias you use aliases for things you can't remember and you see here the long sentence there yahoot minus s y u dash dash a u r dash dash new confirm that replaces that long text so it's easier to just say update so that's it now you continue your journey and you git clone the scripts from somewhere so the somewhere is uh, what you should decide just take an example here 
for instance, you go and install BSPWM. So um, it's up to you to decide whether and what you want to install, but everything is explained each time in, for instance, Cinnamon, Cinnamon installation of Arch Linux D Cinnamon, and just follow the, the videos and the guidelines. All right, cheers.